If you were on trial for being a Christian, would they find evidence enough to convict you of having a relationship with Jesus Christ? Me, I have a cross on my computer desktop. Personal written Christian reading material in response to a question or conversation with a co-worker. Other Christian-based helpful information including obsolete CDs are now forwarded to listen free link to interested parties. See the note please take? I offer accumulated Christian material in this area. At times they do help themselves. I've had to restock a few times. Home Bible study info, including the New Testament, soft cover books, and loads of VOM mags. Voice of the Martyr is a window to the world of today's persecuted Christian. If you sit around clicking Amen for God to bless you, subscribe to www.persecution.com, Voice of the Martyrs. Look into the face of a believer, hear their story, pray with a purpose, an individual facing imprisonment or death. While you're at it, give God praise for the pampered life we live here in this country. Back to our topic. People walking past my cubicle for the first time at a glance will pick up enough Christian material evidence to convict me. But what about my phone? Oh, I can give up my phone. Here, take a look. Tune in radio, three apps, Reach FM, Moody Radio, and K Dry. Sermons and Christian music. But K Dry selection of pastors, not to your preference, got that covered. One place. Here, you can scroll down through dozens of pastors, even enter their archives. I love Ravi Zacharias, world leading apologist. My most used app is the Holy Bible. Read or listen, dozens of translations to choose from. KJV is my preference. Well, there's a glance at my life, 100% guilty of being a Christian. No overturning this conviction, I'll get life for all eternity. At your place of employment, does anyone know you're a Christian? Post your evidence. Away from church, does anyone know you're a Christian? Post your evidence.